Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we have to market close on Monday, September 11th. We're going to take a look at Canopy Growth, CGC. So having another just gangbusters day today up over 81% and just leaving absolutely in the dust all of these support and resistance levels that we had plotted previously. So it seemed like it was certainly time to come in and try to plot some new levels. So what I want to do is try to get some levels that come from about, I don't know if we'll go all the way down to 105, but, um, and try to stretch up nearing, you know, the $2 level. So this is about where, um, that last move to, through those price zones. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll put one you know down low here in case it starts to pull back. Who knows with all this sort of bullish momentum and and bullish catalysts? Um, who knows if things slow down or if you know there's a perceived hiccup in the mix? How hard uh, people take that who have been sort of relying heavily on the uh, the bullish catalysts to keep coming. So there are a significant number of levels in here, though it is just a few candles deep. So it's not like we have a ton of price action to gauge us off of. And here it's going to get really thin. Um, so some of these may, may not last if it starts to put in a bunch of uh, price action through these levels or within these ranges. Some of these may shift uh, I don't know significantly, but may shift around a little bit. Okay, so that plots us, of course, from down close to a dollar to up uh, close to a dollar ninety. So if we zoom in today and see sort of where these levels stretch and, and how it treated them today, so you get a, we get a bunch of motion in there. So uh, pushed off there first thing this morning, skipped a level, rejected came down, was strong enough that it didn't even need to come down and try to retest support here, just sort of wrestled with the resistance here, overcame it, grabbed another level, built support over that. It was, I mean, it was really like, um, you know, it was a, obviously a huge move, but this is pretty methodical throughout the day. You know, it's not, it's not like running like, you know, one of these and then pulling back wildly and then, you know, having another wild run up. It's pretty staircasey. Um, so impressive movement there on on those levels. Um, so we'll see how that continues to play out in the day, but in the days ahead. But you know these are the levels that I see already pulling back um, a decent amount in the after hours. But you have to expect that some folks are going to be taking profits uh, with with such large moves. Uh, now let's flip over to the Think or Swim study, and let me get CGC in there. We'll stay here on the one hour so we can kind of see what might take shape in the hours ahead, um, you know, meaning several trading days, hours. But really good signal here from the TTM squeeze. You see a lengthy trigger with one hiccup fire candle there, but lengthy trigger over several hours. And then when it fired, it really made that move. So for all of the misfires that TTM squeeze can and does provide, <laughs> there are also times like this when it just calls out an enormous move uh, days ahead of time, which is, you know, quite impressive. You see the 180 to 200 EMA cloud all the way down here. So nice, firmly in a green uptrend, a bullish trend, as you know, would seem obvious. But on the hour here, you know, really spending the whole day well out of the channel. Um, and the cloud itself, this bullish cloud is also stretched way out of the channel. So this thing is obviously just off like a rocket. And um, not showing any indication throughout the day at least, that it wanted to come down and try to test the mid-range of this channel, which is what we eventually look for. You know, it can spend a long time out of the channel to the upside or the downside, but eventually we look for it to come back and, and retest that center of the of the channel. So we'll be looking for that in the days ahead and how that could take shape. But to me, for the time being, this is a really, really strong motion. Now, like I said, catalyst-driven, sort of news-driven, and so if something sort of throws that askew, the, the the equal but opposite reaction could be as sort of harsh. Um, so we'll see, you know, what comes of all of that. Obviously, we don't have control over that news cycle. But as far as just pure 
price movement today. Really impressive that this cloud is stretched out of the upper bound of the channel and it's just riding that cloud as support. It's not even needing to test the upper bound of the channel as support. So, and, and that and that just stretched throughout the whole day. Like I said, this was such a sort of methodical uh, up day for being such a wild percentage gain. Um, now, obviously there's gaps being left. Um, and so we can sort of look at that if the price starts to come down significantly and that seems like it's coming into play, you know, we can certainly look at it then. You know, something to be aware of, of course, on days like this, there's going to be a massive gap left. So uh, no surprise there. But yeah, we'll see. It's still trying to shrug off that cloud as support in the after hours. Um, but like I said, some folks taking profits, but doesn't appear, at least at the moment, that they're sort of like rushing for the exits. So we'll see how that plays out. All right, folks, I hope your trading week got off to a good start today. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.